Right, now we're on to adding fractions but with different denominators. Now denominator, as we talked about, is this bottom part, different bottom parts of the fractions are different denominators. So success criteria. First of all, you need to find the common multiple between the two fractions. What times table is that number in that that number is in as well? Then you need to convert the fractions so that the denominators are the same. And then after you've done that, it becomes dead easy. All you do is add the top and keep the bottom the same. Okay, so find the common multiple, convert the fractions, then add the top, but keep the bottom the same. And that is it. Let's have a little go at a couple. So we've got 5 6, add 3 twelfths. Now, we need this denominator to be the same, and at the moment we've got a 6 and a 12. So what we need to look at is we need to think, right, what is in the 6 times tables, it's also in the 12 times tables, which is the smallest number? And if I think, right, I know 6 is in the 12 times tables, and 12 is in the 12 times tables. Okay, so my common multiple is going to be 12, so I'm going to change both of these numbers so that there are the 12. So I'll write 12 below both of them. Now I'm going to convert this fraction so it is now out of the twelfths. So I need to think in my head, what have I done to 6 to get to 12? And it's either multiplied or divide. So it's being times by 2. So that means whatever I do to that, I have to do to this number as well. So I have to do 5 times 2 as well. So I got what we call an equivalent fraction. It's worth the same, but it's got the denominator that we need. So 5, 6, we turn it into 10 twelfths. Now this one here, 12, it's already a twelfth. So I actually don't need to do end of this. Because it's just times by 1, so we times the top by 1. So that just stays the same. And then it becomes dead easy. Because we've got the same denominator, when we add fractions, if the denominator is the same, it stays as 12. And then you just add the top two numbers. So 10, a 3, and 13. So 5, 6, add 3 twelfths would become 13 over 12. Okay, so that common multiple. Let's have another go. So we've got 3 quarters out of third. So we need to think, what's the common multiple in our head? First of all, we need the denominator to be the same. At the moment, they're different. So what's in the 4 times tables and the 3 times tables? So 4 is in the 3 times tables. 8? Yeah. No, no, it's not actually. 12, ah yes we've got like a match, so four is in the, uh, 12 is in the 4 times tables and 12 is in the 3 times tables. So we'll write down our 12 below. Now we're going to convert both of these fractions so they become equivalent fractions here. So what have I done to get from 4 to 12? I've times it by 3 so I have to times the top by 3 as well. So that gives me 9. What have I done to get from 3 to 12? I've times it by 4 this time. So I have to times the top by 4, which gives me 4. And then, now we've got the same denominator, dead simple. Just add the top, 9 plus 4 is 13. And then keep the bottom number the same, so it's 13 over 12. Now I want for you to try yourselves. Have a go at this. So we've got 4 sevenths add 2 thirds. So what we want to do is find that common multiple. Um, I'm going to have a go at it So uh, in about three seconds, so if you want to pause. So three, two, one. Okay, so common multiple between seven and three. We need this denominator to be the same. So I'm going to concentrate on the bigger numbers. So think of seven times tables. So seven doesn't work for three. Uh, 14 mm, doesn't work for three. 21 does, it works for three. So we're going to change the common multiple is 21. So we're going to change them both into 21, so fractions out of 21. So what have I done? So we need to change this into the equivalent fraction. So what have I done to 7 to get to 21? I've times it by 3. So what I have to times that by? You're right, I have to times it by 3. So 4 times 3 is 12. Now what have I done to get from 3 to 21? I've times it by 7. So that means I have to times the top by 7 gives me 14. And we're adding the fractions. So dead simple. Add the top two numbers. 12 plus 14 is 26. Keep the bottom number the same. Done.